In this video I will show you, how to upgrade firmware to Microtic Router Board 260GS. Access the router. Connect to the Microtic Router using an Ethernet cable. Open Winbox or a web browser and enter the router's IP address in the address bar. Default IP address 192.168.88.1 Check current firmware version. Visit the official Microtik website and go to the Downloads section. Download the latest stable version of router OS for your router board model. Each router board switch series have their own firmware which cannot be installed on other series models. RB260GS supports SWOS version 1.7 till version 1.17. Backup configuration. In the System Backup section of the Router OS web interface, download backup file. Regularly backup your router's configuration. You can do this from the web interface or using the command line interface. Upload firmware. In the System Firmware Upgrade section of the Router OS web interface, upload the downloaded firmware file to the router. You can do this by dragging and dropping the file or using the Upload button. First I will show that I upload not supported version. Now we can see message that upgrade failed, invalid firmware file. Let's download correct firmware from official Microtik website. Now let's upload the correct downloaded firmware file to the router. Firmware can be upgraded slash downgraded by selecting firmware file and pressing upgrade button. During the upgrade, message fill appear, showing upgrading. After uploading the firmware, reboot the router. After the router reboots, log in again and navigate to System and General to confirm that the firmware has been successfully upgraded. In case wrong installation is accidentally done, correct firmware has to be reinstalled following these instructions. It is possible to upload and install SWOS firmware using BuildTP. This example shows how to reinstall SWOS using RouterOS. Configure IP address and DHCP server with BootP enabled on the installation router. Upload new SWOS firmware file to the router file system. Configure TFTP server. Hold the reset button of the switch when starting it. After few seconds ACT LED will start blinking. Wait till ACT LED blinks twice as fast and release reset button. Make Ethernet connection between the switch port 1 and Ethernet port you configured DHCP server on. After few seconds new firmware should be successfully uploaded and installed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, take care.